Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to customize a curtain wall. Here I am in Revit 2016 with a storefront curtain wall created. <clears throat> we know that we can tab into a panel, unpin it, and change it from one type to another, like so. <clears throat> we also have the ability to duplicate it or change its materials to some other material. And if we switch to realistic, we can see what it looks like. However, if we want to customize this to say, let's turn this into a fabric wall where I don't see any mullions, I just see a straight seam line, and I have rectangular uh, squares that have fabric wrapped around them. How do we do something like this? Well, we can, number one, we can select our storefront, and we can change our properties to not have any vertical or horizontal mullions. And when we do this, it'll change the way it appears and look like there's just a single vertical and a single horizontal seam line, <clears throat> like so. How do we change the panels themselves to look a bit more realistic um, instead of just a simple rectangle? In order to do this, we need to create a custom family, curtain wall family. So if I open up a custom one that I've made and look at it in 3D, you'll see what we have going on here. This is nothing more than an extrusion of a profile extruded up, aligned and locked to the top of that reference plane there. If I were to select it and edit the extrusion, you'll get an idea of what we're talking about. If I go to the plan view, you can see how that extrusion is built. <clears throat> Uh, we can get fancy and we can turn this back up and around so that there's some kind of clipping anchoring system if we need to. Uh, things that you want to take into consideration, you know that there's going to be another panel to the left and to the right of this one. So <clears throat> you may want to adjust the placement of this to the left or to the right, more so to the right, um, so that there's a gap. So you can do some seams or some, some kind of fastening system. Once you finish creating your custom curtain wall panel, you save it, you load it into the project. Once it's loaded into the project, go ahead and take, go back to your curtain wall, select that storefront, edit the system so that the curtain panel is now using the custom curtain panel, and there you go. For the one that's already been set up and um, customized, you can tap back into it if you need to. And you can unpin it, and it'll take it back to its default. So there you go. This is how you create a play with the, the curtain wall storefront command and customize it to make it look like a fabric wall. Thanks for watching our, my screencast, and uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.